Hi, I'm Pranav, a developer advocate here at Thales. Now I'm going to show you another small application of how you can encrypt uh, your data in transit. Now, what do I mean by in transit? I mean, no changes to your application. So you can basically run a, a container or a sidecar container, uh, which sort of proxies every single request into your application. And now what this does is every request that you hit, which is an API request where you're posting sensitive data, uh, the proxy service will basically intercept that request in encrypt that data and send it to your API service and your API service can do whatever it needs to do to write it to whatever database, right? Uh, and the beauty about this, as I mentioned again, is it's as simple as installing a logging agent. Uh, it's as simple as, you know, installing any other form of monitoring or logging tool. So first to do this, we need to head over to Cypher Trust Manager to create a registration token. And then second, we need to add it to our our, our, our our container deployment configuration file. So it may be Docker Compose, it may be uh, Kubernetes, it may be a Helm installation. We support all of that, and it's extremely simple to do. Uh, and then the third is to go on Cypher Trust Manager and configure your encryption uh, policies. Now, these encryption policies basically define what routes it should intercept and what fields it needs to encrypt uh, or decrypt for that matter. And finally, just let your application run effortlessly and let us do all the encryption for you. So first, I'm going to head over to the Cypher Trust Manager console and head into Application Data Protection. And now I'm going to create a new application and call it Demo Video, for example. Hit Next. And then over here, I can set a couple of configurations, which are defined in uh, the documentation. And then we come to the data protection gateway policies. These are basically the different API routes that the proxy service should in intercept uh, to encrypt certain fields. So let's say I had an API, and in this case, let's say it's post data, right? It's a post request, and I want to encrypt my SSN, uh, and I want to protect that, um, and I just use a select a particular key that I want to you know, use to encrypt it, which is all managed by Cypher Trust Manager. And I just click on uh, Create, and then hit Next, and then hit Save. And this will give me a registration token. And I can use this registration token in my uh, con container configuration files uh, to be able to deploy it as a proxy service. This is an example Docker Compose file where I'm proxying a Next.js uh, web application onto um, the uh, CypherTrust Data Protection Gateway container, uh, which basically will encrypt my fields uh, for the demo that I'm going to show you right now. To look at the demo, scan this GitHub QR code, and then you'll, you'll get redirected to the GitHub repository. Over here, there's a link uh, which links to the demo. And as you can see, this demo is a sample use case of how a patient would um, would schedule an appointment for, for some particular hospital. So uh, I'm just going to fill in the details, put in my name, my last name, um, random date of birth, and random social security number. Uh, I don't know why they asked for my social security number, but they did, and uh, an insurance ID. And then I'm going to basically insert it into DynamoDB. And as you can see, uh, I have applied uh, I have applied the encryption based on the policy, the social security number, date of birth, and insurance ID. Uh, however, you can apply it on, on any, any of the other fields. And as you can see, the, these particular fields are encrypted, and uh, none of the others are, uh, which, is, which is amazing if you have applications which need to access some parts of the data, but not all the sensitive parts of it. Similarly, when I click on decrypt, it basically is just proxying uh, my my requests on the container. The container is looking through the fields and, and and decrypting all the fields that need to be decrypted. So in this case, I have decrypted the social security number, but you don't necessarily need to. Finally, the data protection gateway also lets you do format preserving encryption, which is very important for things like storing credit card numbers uh, when you want to preserve the same format. So do check out the the example code 
and start using Cypher Trust Manager because it requires no change to your application and it's extremely easy to set up and install.